damn it, woman. We're live. <laughs> Damn I'm a it, tiny woman. bit late. <laughs> he said, damn it, woman. Oh, we're demonetized, by the way, for doing that. Way to go, I know, wonderful. She, Look, this dry start, Reese, just is, I don't, I can't. It's like, it's like going to pitch. It's going to, going to pitch in a baseball game without getting any warm-up pitches. It doesn't work. Um, well, anyway, it works They call you. that a dry start? No, <laughs> they don't call that a dry start. Happy St. Patty's Day. You look like you're going to a speakeasy. I wish I was there to join you. I thought either oh. a speakeasy or a mafia wife. I was trying to look like a mafia wife. I think you're, I think it works for both. I think it works for both. Good. Cause I don't know how to do hair and I want to make that clear right up front. Uh, my <laughs> hair is like three or four days old, dirty, and I didn't know how to do it. So this is the hair. Okay. Let's yeah, get over that. Yeah. Let's just get that out of the way. You know how you do hair. You wear a hat. I know I wore a hat yesterday. Um, yeah. And it was happy St. Patty's day again. Um, why aren't you wearing green? I thought we should celebrate it because we now longer, we're not Scientologists and Scientologists don't celebrate this. So I thought yeah, this don't. is my first time. Now I don't drink. So that's, there's that. That's a bummer. That's a but bummer. I well, like that's good eat. for you, actually. I'm, I'm good at that. I think people that don't drink, good for you. People that do drink, good for you. Just don't do it in excess, but you're right. I mean, hey, you don't need to drink. You have conversations with me on Sunday. There's nothing else that'll get you happier and higher than that, right? Um, that's how I felt about it. Which jumps us right to the subject. I did get a very nice message from someone last week saying that my thumbnail for these Sunday Rieslings is old because it's a sort of a Christmas theme. But I want to point out, thank you so much for the message, but it's a warm fireplace. And when I talk to Reese, she makes me feel warm and fuzzy. So I'm not going to change it all year, no matter the weather, because I love that picture. So there we I go. love that picture and I do cause the warm and fuzzies. Though for sure the warm and fuzzy. But I am wearing green, by the way, for everyone. Yes. You know, it's not cool. I texted you like nine hours ago and I said, wear green tonight. And this is the best you could do. You don't have a yes. green hat. No, I actually don't. I, well, who wears green? I mean, regularly, who wears green? Unless you're Kermit the Frog. Um, no offense to anyone that's Irish. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of green clothes, you know? You I know? have green eyeballs and I my favorite color is emerald. And I love malachite. So I wear green. Thanks. You're rocking green. Oh, you know what? If there is a holiday that celebrates the color blue, I'm in. I have that color. All the... Speaking of which, I don't know who sent this to me last week. It made my week, though. Whoever sent me the cookie monster, please speak up. I saw this in the mail. That's cute. And I was so happy. <laughs> Literally That's so happy. Really I cute. have a cookie monster impersonation, too. Maybe I'll do it at the end. Um, wait, I lost my Yoshi. Okay, pick him up. Like, seriously, I I'm guessing it's John Shatowski. Katie Fult, I love you. I'm guessing uh, that's what it was. Yeah. Well, John usually, when he sends stuff, he always puts a little note with it. He sent me some chocolates recently, so I don't I know. Did? That would be weird. Yeah, he doesn't ever send stuff without some sort of a note, but... Well, may oh, maybe he did he send it. Like... He did. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. I, so, I, I can't tell you. Middle, long week last week. A lot of work. Tired get home and that was in that was in my mailbox i was so stoked i opened it right away and found a spot for it instantly so thank you so much such a nice gift i appreciate that, that was really sweet i love john he is so nice i don't right? see him as often as we used to but i really i love him he's a yeah, good friend yeah. good guy so uh catch up because we haven't spoken since last week other than the text early this morning to say let's do 4 30 you know i'm traveling next week um so aren't you traveling the next two sundays yeah yeah i'll be gone for two sundays yeah i'm, I'm okay. leaving on wednesday night so um, i'll be gone for two weeks but we might be able to do something we'll just have to see how my schedule ends up when i'm on the road sometimes there's a lot of work um but we might try something for the fun of it hey okay um okay so did you do uh did you coach today i did i did i actually uh coached uh, a game solo on on Saturday we lost but uh, you know but um it was you know it was a little more trickier so I didn't have the main coach there so it was all on my plate mm -hmm. and sometimes you know kids baseball team between 10 and 12 is like wrangling cats um so uh, I and there's a lot when it comes to kids baseball there's a lot of little rules that are different about pitch counts innings catcher pitcher and so I didn't really I wasn't able to wrap my head around it and I really wanted to uh 
give the kids that don't have that aren't first priority in pitching i want to give them a chance to try it out and see how they did and you know uh it was it was an interesting experience um for sure we did not win but we played well and it was interesting today's practice was great though i play, I, I made them play a game where they all enjoyed it uh called over the line essentially and uh you know batting practice and all that kind of stuff i mean it, i've had a busy day but you know what i'm really realizing cats can't consent uh, jill will back and, um, i saw that <laughs> hey and i still haven't Aww. been the kid during batting practice so i, I think that's good right um oh, wow. i think that's adorable sterling that you do that yeah. i think it's so cute blakey oh, I, I, I'm, I'm in my happy place for sure yeah i love blake for don't sure. you yeah he's awesome who doesn't love blake thank you blakey Whoever you super chatted that to, we love you. Yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah. So it went thank well. You, Powder um, Puff. A lot of work. A lot of work. It is surprisingly a lot of work. But you know what? Uh, every kid on the team is a great kid. And I love that. There's no, there's no jerks or or bad attitudes. And I think that's I, I love that that's the case. So um yeah. I don't know. What you do? It's like, what are you calling kids jerks? No, <laughs> but but seriously, sometimes you can end up with with a kid that's you know a little harsh depending on how they're raised. And I think every kid on the team has just got a good personality, happy demeanor, uh, totally. fun to play with, and and good teammates. So I'm happy. About Makes that. me think of Home Alone. Sometimes I'll do that to yeah. Hux and go, "Look what you did, you little <laughs> jerk." <laughs> One of the, you know, we used to quote that as kids all the time. Oh my god, I still time. do. Oh I do it to Huxley all the time. Life. Look, Look what, what you, you did, did, you little, little jerk. jerk. Um, yes, I'm not, I, again, not yelling at kids, but that was such a great line. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun, you cheapskate. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, how many movies did we quote as kids? I mean, that's really, you know what's interesting? Um, even in Scientology or C organization, I think a lot of people did still picked up whatever lines they had from, I've, I've told my Clint Eastwood story at school a couple of times, I'm assuming, um, you know, where I told the teacher to go ahead and make my day. Um, and you know, I got kicked out of class for that, but, uh, it's, it's funny how movies. I remember that. Them. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, much. With that. children. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that movie. I absolutely oh, love that movie. It's so such good. a classic. I love Daniel's. Is it Daniel Stern? In that? Yes, Daniel yes. Sir, and Joe I Pesci. Love, well, Joe Pesci, yeah. yes, but I mean, I love Marv in that movie. Is it yeah. Harry? No, Marv. He's Marv. Daniel Stern is, is he Marv. Marv. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah He's yeah. so funny in that movie. Well, and what, uh, let me ask you. So, so you you obviously grew up in that. You were, how old were you in the 90s? You were. Well, I was born what? in 84. So it was. Okay, good. So, so you, in the okay. 90s, what movie would you say influenced you the most? Like, what movie do you have? the fondest memory of or are the ones you quote the most, et cetera, et cetera. I'd be interested to know. From then? I don't know. Yes. I, I'm going to make um, you close, close your eyes and just tell I me mean, the first I, movie that pops in your head. Silence of the Lambs. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I didn't see that until mm -hmm. after I left Scientology. And George Carlin um, stand up. I mean, that's not a feel-good movie, but, uh, you know, I would say Revenge of the Nerds was the top of my list. Top Gun, obviously. Um, I never saw either one of those. What? You never saw Revenge of the Nerds? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You need to see Revenge of the Nerds. Um, <laughs> I never saw a lot movie. of these. Some other one, the Roxbury one. I never saw that. I, I never I saw Pretty in Pink. I never saw any of those 80s movies. Then you're lucky. You can, you can experience this all over again. The Caddyshack, the someone's good Caddyshack. Oh, I love Caddyshack. No, Caddyshack I love great. The, Caddyshack. I can quote the karate that all kid. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. I absolutely loved Caddyshack. I have a, uh, uh, did you ever see The Karate Kid? The original with Ralph Macchio. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was a good movie. It was like one of those, you know, like big movies in the in the 80s like that, you know, you would, you would steal. I love Booger, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay, so fun little fact. I, my... Forgive me for this in advance. My little brother, Nathan, my half-brother, Nathan, uh, who I grew up with and spent a lot of time raising, his nickname mm -hmm. through his entire childhood was Booger. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Everyone sucks. called him Booger because I love the name Booger from Revenge of the Nerds, and I nicknamed him that. People don't call him that that much anymore, but back when I was a kid, everyone called him Booger, um, which I that's thought was That's kind of awesome. a bummer of a nickname. Yes and no. If you know Booger from the movie, no, it's kind of cool. But um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, point Dexter. <laughs> uh, yeah, 80s movies um, are the best. Oh, contact with Jodie Foster. Uh, hey, so Miles, Silence of the Lambs, how old were you when that came out? 
I think it came out in 89. Now. It won Silence Best Picture. Lines. I thought it was 89. Okay. Um, but you could, didn't see that till you were older. Your parents didn't let you watch that. That was my favorite movie. I started watching that when I was like eight years old, nine years old. It was my favorite movie. I watched it over and over and over. All right. Well, if I, ever stay, if I ever stay at your house, I am locking my bedroom door and sleeping with one eye open. That's how I fell in love with Anthony Hopkins. It's probably why I have an old oh. man thing. Also, um, my other thing I would watch over. Oh, 91. Okay. My other favorite thing I would watch over and over and over was George Carlin's stand up. Okay. Carlin's a genius. And so my parents weren't home. My dad was not there. So I was yeah. home alone most of the time. So plus he totally approved of me watching Signs of the Lambs. Why wouldn't he? Really? We were all, well, we were adults. My dad never treated me like a kid. So interesting be, and that you say that because there was a movie my parents hid from me and would never let me watch. And it was Stand By Me. Oh my God, and, I loved that movie. I watched it all the time. Well, they didn't because the, the whole murder uh for those of you that haven't seen it, sorry for the spoiler. If you haven't seen it, you shouldn't even be here. Um, uh, the, in the end, the kids, I think, found murdered, right? Um, oh, Ray Brower. Yeah. So they wouldn't let me watch it because of that, believe it or not. They actually hid that movie from me. I could watch I could watch Alien. I could watch Aliens, Gremlins. I could watch Nightmare on Elm Street. But that movie they hid from me. Weird, right? Have you actually seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it way later. Okay, you want to yeah. know the dad in that movie? You know, the mean dad, uh, Gordy's dad, and his his brother dies. His older brother dies, the football player. Yeah, I don't remember the character, but I would have to watch again. But yeah, go ahead. Oh, his dad is identical to Gene Wally, my dad. His dad really? is so stern, solid, mean. And he looks at Gordy, the son who lived, and his older yeah. brother died. Um, and he looks at his son and he goes, it should have been you, Gordy. What? Yeah, that's exactly my dad. To a okay, now I'm going to watch the movie father. just because of that. I want to see that. That's such a good movie. That is such a good movie. Oh, I yeah. love that fantastic. movie. Isn't it a Stephen Kiefer King Sutherland novel? Is, it yeah. is, yeah. yeah. I think it's called The Body. The novel is called The Body. Body, okay, okay. Oh, because they found um, the body at the end. Yeah, Ray Brower. And remember, it was really sad, and the kids' shoes were knocked off, and it was really yeah. sad. And uh, I loved Kiefer Sutherland in that. He was so young. Yes, right? Kind of had yeah. a crush on him in that. Isn't that the movie where he's knocking the mailboxes off with a baseball bat? Yeah, he was yeah, kind yeah. of a little, yeah. he was a little bad boy. I kind of like. Of course, as a kid, I was like, I was like, I wonder what baseball bat he's using. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I, I was really like, was. I, I was like, oh, I wonder. Uh, wonder if I could climb that tree. He was pretty cute. I. He was a natural yeah. blonde. All of you, by the way, that are throwing movies in here. Thank you so much. You're bringing back so many good memories of movies. I mean, I love that. that was hey, and yes, by the way, Alien. Just Chopper, to be clear, sick did you balls. ever see Alien? I never did. Okay, scary, scary movie. Didn't Alien, see it. to me, is not as good as Aliens. Aliens, the James Cameron vehicle, um, is uh, is one of the best action movies ever. And I, it, to me, it wasn't really scary. Oh, here's a great question. <laughs> the jerk. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, did you watch? Yes, loved Lost Boys as a kid. Such a good movie. I actually still listen to the soundtrack on that. From time to time uh really good really good soundtrack i never saw that shelly yeah that was a sad part knocked out of his kids Ooh, which one was that? is that again that was that was stand by me at the end I when gotta, they found his body i gotta Ray watch Brower. that again i gotta watch that oh, and yes good. That's yes such a good the movie. jerk is a classic as well <laughs> did you have you seen the jerk with steve martin mm -mm. what i haven't okay. seen a lot of old movies i will okay, tell you i love i love um john candy movies Uncle oh Buck. Uncle Buck, planes, trains, automobiles. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. He is so good. He is so good in everything. I love him. I uh, do too. Sad day when we lost him and Robin Williams, for sure. For sure. And Chris Farley. Yes, Chris Farley was great. <laughs> he kind of reminded me of Chris Farley. Like they, they were you, so funny. Oh, have you seen the Chris Farley, Patrick Swayze SNL uh, skit where they're both trying out for Chippendales? And no, it's like, but I don't a, watch SNL. I never have. Oh, and it, but it's so funny. It's Farley and Patrick Swayze, and it's really close at the end. Like, and, and then, you know, Swayze wins, and they're like kind of hugging each other, going, You were so good. You were so close. <laughs> I loved Patrick Swayze too. I loved so him. I. Yeah, that yeah was he, was, sad. he was awesome and everything. That's amazing, Blake. Yeah. Did you guys see that meme I posted in the group? It said something mm -hmm. like, Is anybody else named Sigourney, or is she the only one? I think she's the only one. Yeah, she was one of the first, like, one of the first real female 
leads uh, when it wasn't a common thing. And she crushed it. She's she a babe. It. I've yeah. always thought Sigourney Weaver was pretty damn hot. And she still is. Yeah. She has a cool voice. She's just a sexy lady. She's cool. She's fantastic like in her. everything she does. Yeah, yeah she's no, an amazing yeah, ghost, actress. Ghost, ghost Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze was in. Um, Sigourney Weaver was in the original Ghostbusters, which was yeah. also a fantastic oh, movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Ghost funny. was a good movie. Yeah, Ghost was fantastic. That was a sad movie. Oh, the, the whole scene with the with the with the little spirits that pull the get, pull people down. Oof, mm-hmm. brutal as a kid mm-hmm. though. Yeah. They came and took Carl at the end. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Gorillas in the Mist. That was a sad one. I never saw that. Ooh, don't. There's no need. It's really sad. Had Sigourney Weaver. Abigail, will you go see the new Ghostbusters movie when it comes out? I'm not sure. I mean, the original Ghostbusters was so good, but Bill Murray's in the new one. And Bill Murray's in it. I'm thinking about it because I love Bill Murray. So are you talking about uh, the new one like that's like a year or two old? No, so there's a new one that's like a year too old, and now they did a follow up to it, uh, which is coming out this weekend, I think. No way! Oh my yeah, god, yeah, Huxley's yeah. going to want to see that. Huxley loves the Ghostbuster movies; he always has. Sharon T, you have to see it. Which one is that, Sharon? Probably Ghostbusters. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, Gorillas in the Mist. Joe Virus. Oh, Gorillas, Gorillas, Gorillas in, the in the Mist is really tough to watch. I gotta watch that. I gotta watch that. Have you ever seen Romancing the Stone? Yes, Michael Classic. Douglas. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so who, good. Who's the woman in that? Oh my god. Um, oh, what's her name? Cat is no. Not no, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's she. She was uh, Chandler's mom in Friends as well, um, or Chandler's dad in Friends. <laughs> no, mom. No, mom. dad. Mom, what's wrong with you, Kathleen Turner? Yeah, Kathleen Turner. Yes, no, no, seriously, I think she was the, she was the dad in Friends. That doesn't make any sense. Did you, you, of course, you saw the Sandlot. No, never saw the Sandlot. Mm-mm. I was the nat. I watched the natural. You are effing kidding me. Nope, never. They saw made Sandlot. that movie after you. They made that movie for you. That is <laughs> Sterling Tompkins' movie. Are you serious? I was, I was a giant fan of the Natural and Major League were two of my favorite baseball movies as a kid. You've never seen the sand. That is your movie. It is your movie. Like that movie <laughs> equals Sterling. I can't believe you haven't seen that movie. I've seen that movie like 30 times. It's my favorite it, kids movie. It, w- it was, well, I did not like watching other kids play baseball. I liked watching the adults play. Like I, 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 I wanted to aspire to that. So seeing kids play baseball really was never a thing for me. That's wild. Yeah. You would love that movie. Ooh, A League of Their Own. That's another good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. I did see that one. Chandler's dad, thank you, poet Brian Lucas, in Friends was played by Kathleen Turner. Yes. Okay, fine. I stand corrected. Yeah. I did not know that. But I don't know Friends as well as you do. Uh, you <laughs> play ball <laughs> like a girl. What did you say? <laughs> I love that part, Blake. There's no crying in baseball. Uh, one of the best lines ever. Yeah. Um, yeah th- I can't, I guess you guys, it, I can't believe it. I really can't believe Sterling hasn't seen the Sandlot. <laughs> so disappointing you would love it so much we should make a judgment list of movies that 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 i can't believe you haven't seen and movies you can't believe i haven't seen so we can constantly judge each other for that that's Um, a good idea are there any so far that you can't believe i have i mean people are always shocked i've never seen the star wars movies but that um, there's one hate sci-fi uh you know what Uh, you know what i'm wrong about that guys what Tell me when the Sandlot movie came out because that might have to do with when i started working uh in the organization because oh susanna Because I mm-hmm. actually did love the Bad News Bears as a kid. So that's Never not true. That. I was wrong about that. I was wrong about that. I love the Bad News Bears as a kid. Uh, but that had Walter Matthau. He was so good. Um, oh, I loved Walter Matthau. Yeah, he was so good. The, the original Bad News Bears was fantastic. But so I'm wrong about that. Because if I liked that one, I think I liked all baseball movies. But let me know when Sandlot came out. Because I have a feeling that that, uh, that conflicted with when I went to the, the ranch and when I, went, uh, when I was in the C organization. I I feel the same way. I will pay him to watch it. Yeah, ninety three. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, so Sandlot came out in ninety three. So I was I had I just started working at Golden Air Productions in ninety three ninety four. So that would explain why I didn't see it. Yeah. Katie, I'm still Thank crying, you. laughing over Sterling's Kermit reference. Tenley raises hand, green eyes here too. Yeah. So she. <laughs> 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 Sandy McKenna. 
<laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. She has a thing. We both have a thing for green. So you kind of okay. made us sad. Katie, thank you for your giant super chat, babe. I love you, girl. I hope you got my video I sent you because mm. yours was so cute. Um, okay. This one. Sorry, I got to put this one up. No, not that one. Thank you so much. I, the Princess Bride one? Yes. Uh, I can't. Guys, don't here, even. There. I'm going to lose this. Thank you. you. Yes, I have one of my favorite movies as a kid. You know, I don't sure. remember it. I saw it so long ago. I don't remember what? it at all. My name is Inigo Montoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die. My name is Inigo Montoya. Oh, it's I've so good. I've heard that enough times. People That's that. something I've quoted several times. Yeah, that one. Um, This one. Sterling, start your memberships and we'll pay uh, to do a watch party with you for Sandlot. Ella. I don't know what these memberships are. I've just heard rumors of them, guys. Uh, Reese is, is you know, we're supposed to have a business meeting so she can tell me about all these new things I don't know about. Um, but that sounds cool. Reese, what are the memberships? I don't know a whole lot about it. You just, mm -hmm. um, it's a way to support your channel and you can come up with different like levels of it and people can sign up and it's like a monthly thing and it's oh, amazing. Wow. And it's so nice. I have so many people that have wanted to support us. Uh, I never saw bad news bears. You should it's do actually, it, Sterling. People would totally love to support you. Interesting. Interesting. Aaron's a better person to talk about. I don't know. Um, okay. I'll ask Aaron. The Aaron's actually not. not. Aaron's the one who told me for the first six months, don't do memberships. <laughs> Aaron is only doing memberships because he called me and said, what do we do with these memberships? How are you doing with it? And I told him, and then he started doing it. <laughs> so ask I think me that's why Aaron. I was asking you. Um, yeah, it's just a way for people to support you. It's amazing. And you can do like, a, they have 99 cents a month ones. You can do it however you want to do it. It's right, really right. nice. And and it's not a, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't push people to do it. People can do it if they want. They don't have to. It doesn't make a difference. Nature and paddleboarding. Well, you sound awesome. Yes, I do. I actually read that story yesterday, believe it or not. Guy got struck by, this is back in, so now they're the, Reese baseball, I'm going to bore you for half a second here. So baseball used to be, they would use the same ball. They would pitch the entire game through 130 pitches. Uh, you know, if, if they broke an ankle, they would finish the game. Nowadays, they switch out a pitcher every three innings. But this guy, back in the day when men were men, got struck by lightning in the middle of the game, got revived, and then finished the game. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on. Uh, okay, That's we're done with the baseball, so sorry about that. Thank yeah. you so much. You know, yeah. speaking of baseball, Huxley would love to chat up baseball with you. I know it. He talks about let's, it a lot. Let's bring him on sometime and do it. Next time we do it, let's do it. Absolutely. I think he would go nuts over that. And if I head out to Kansas City this summer, hey, Ken I'm Cole. trying to. I, I'll absolutely go to a game with you guys. That way you, you can try it. To. Then, but you said you were coming this summer. Now you're now it's a try. I'm wait. No, I'm waiting for the confirmation on my um, family reunion in Chicago. Okay. Oh my gosh, Sharon T. That, I love that movie. Which one? Have you seen Kindergarten Cop? Loved it. Love that. I maybe, love maybe that. Maybe it's a tumor. <laughs> do you remember when he's holding the the pencil and he's like, next time you make that noise, I'm going to do this to you. <laughs> yeah. Snaps it in half. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Arnold Schwarzenegger was brilliant. I mean, just something. Well, how about twins? Boys have penises. Girls have vaginas. Huh? <laughs> yeah. How about twins? Twins was another classic. Yeah. I didn't um, see it. Such a classic. Everyone used to say that I was Danny DeVito and my brother Justin was Arnold Schwarzenegger, but we know that's not the truth. Um, so, yeah. The ferret. It's a ferret. It's a ferret. <laughs> oh, I yeah. I love yeah. that movie. This is another great one. Robin Hood with, uh, even though, Ooh, yeah. even though Kevin Costner did not have an English accent, guys. Did anyone notice that? <laughs> How do you do? I don't think it matters. Thing. He's so hot. I don't think anybody <laughs> cared about his accent at all. Surely. But um, Alan Rickman is a sheriff. I'll cut your heart out with a spoon. Why, I cousin? Love... Why, cousin, a spoon? Because it'll hurt more. Great movie. Great Do you movie. not love Alan Rickman? That was so oh, sad. He's such so a good sad. actor. I love him. He's brilliant. brilliant. I think he died like on the same day or day after David Bowie. It was so really? sad. Yes. And they both died of cancer. It was really yeah. sad. That Broke really my sad. heart. How about Police Academy? Again, I watched those things nonstop as a kid. Nonstop. I love the Police Academy movies. Uh, Tackleberry was my favorite. The guy who was excessive in everything he did. Like when 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 uh, the, the lady lost her coin, her, her, her quarter in the phone machine, and she asked for help, he takes a gun, shoots the phone, about 400 quarters spill out, spill out and he goes, ma'am, can you identify your quarter? <laughs> I never saw that movie. 
You never saw Police Academy? Oh my God. Okay, you gotta see that. Huh. It's on the list now. I'm judging you. Okay. I'm judging you. No uh, one's judging you. No, what you're being judged the most for Sandlot. I cannot believe you haven't seen that. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm gonna have to watch it. Um, yes. Also, I did enjoy Monty Python movies. Yes, they were fantastic. Saw. Um, have you seen the Monty Python movies? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, life. Uh, the meaning of life was one of my favorites. The classroom scene was hilarious. Are they um, British? Yes. Very British. Is it weird very humor? British. Like what I think it's funny. Uh, you know, the sarcasm you'd get, like when they have the meeting, they have the meeting there, uh, a, a procrastinators meeting. It's like, okay, they're, they're talking to everyone around the table. I'm like, okay. So just so we know, we're going to, we're going to put our meeting off till next week. Procrastinators unite tomorrow um it's yeah you have to watch it it's it's a whole i, I can't know. okay it. i'll watch it i've been yeah. told i should see it it's pretty um, good yeah no i know yeah. debbie sterling hasn't seen the sandlot it's so weird just knowing who sterling is it's so weird like i feel like they made that movie about his life even though he didn't come from there if Army, sterling Army, had a normal Army. upbringing he would have been <laughs> benny from the sandlot wouldn't he that's who sterling would be benny he yeah, grew up yeah. to be a news sports reporter or whatever yeah, I did not see the Robin Hood spoof, actually, Men in Tights. Did not see that. Um, I got to watch that. And here's um, this one, too. Sterling, have you seen Ready Player One? Yes, fantastic movie. Um, 2018, but it primarily features the 80s. Yes. Have you seen Ready Player One? It's a Spielberg movie. Uh -uh. It's really good. Huxley must have watched it. He must have seen it. I don't know what that you would actually seen. like it. Yeah, you'd like it. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. I also well, love, uh, yeah, I, I just saw War Games. Um, oh, I loved uh, love that movie. Bueller. Yeah. I loved oh, uh, Matthew Broderick. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Bueller. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you know what other movies I love that were not as early 80s, but probably more 90s? Adam Sandler movies. Do you like Adam Sandler movies? Like, I loved uh, Happy Gilmore. I loved Happy Gilmore. Again, I didn't watch a lot of them because uh, I was working at that time. So I missed that little section. Um, but I do like Adam Sandler, but also a classy guy. I don't know if you ever heard about him, but he's yes. one of the nicest in real people life, in Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. he is. He helps all of his friends. Mm -hmm. um, and he's super down to earth. Like he's not some dick swinging dude. I love him. He'll go to pick up baseball games when he's in, uh, sorry, basketball games when he's in a city. He always wears big baggy shorts. He, he's a classy guy. I've heard, I've heard a lot of good things about him from different people. Yeah. yeah. I really, really like him. Yeah. Red Dawn. Yes. Whoever said that, Brittany. Red Dawn, the original Red Dawn, fantastic movie. Patrick Swayze. Uh, I think it was Patrick Swayze, Charlie Sheen, and the girl from Dirty Dancing, Jennifer. Jennifer, help me, guys. Jennifer something. Um, yeah, I can't think of her last name either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love it. You the know, chat's going to know. The I chat. never saw. I loved The Outsiders. I never saw mm. uh, Wedding Singer. I never saw that movie. What? I know. Yeah. That's Take off weird. the T-shirt. Before you jinx the band and they break up. It's oh, Jennifer movie. Gray. That's it. Yeah, Jennifer yeah. Gray, yeah. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, no, you know, guys, so many movies. I mean, so many. I mean, you know, that's the thing. When we were, at least when we were in the C organization, um, it was funny. It was, a, it was a known thing. Whenever you were somehow managed to get on a flight somewhere and it was a red eye, no one slept. We stayed up all night watching Katie. movies. Because we we got that really got we, oh that's right she was oh uh, <laughs> that's awesome that sucks Katie but that's so cool <laughs> you blew it you blew, you it. blew it Katie yeah. Sterling could definitely pickle the beast I know that was Let's in the same lot it's at oh. the end these cute little kids have to fight something and they pickle the beast it's so okay cute. oh hey son you know. Where'd you go, A son? Got it. Go so fast. I did see Blade Runner. I love everything Harrison Ford. I did not like Blade Runner. It was too dark for me. Never saw. I didn't it. really understand it. Did you love Dirty Dancing? Are you kidding me? I used to. I used to try to do the dance in Dirty Dancing, and I can't dance. I love Dirty Dancing. Which love, one? Love Dirty Dancing as a kid. Which dance yeah, yeah. were you trying to do? There were a few in there. Oh, I was trying to hold the girl up above my head. I was like, okay, I was say like at the end when he's like. Hey, baby. And he like jumps down. Yeah. And come I on. How many love times? love that scene. Yeah. How many times have, have we said, don't put baby in a corner? <laughs> many. That was a great movie too, right there. Did you, did, you see The Shining? Whoa, dark. You know, I saw it at one point later on, but not as a kid. Not as a kid. That was too much. Yeah. Really, I don't like scary movies, but I do love that movie. 
I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to knock your brains out or whatever he says. Wait a second. Stardust Joy. Oh, I like your little emoji or, or, or icon there. My parents didn't let me see Top Gun because of the sex scene. There was no sex scene in Top Gun. I didn't see it until I was in my 20s. Now, it wasn't a sex scene per definition, I guess. Um, do you know what she's talking about, Reese? Mm-mm. I never saw she's Top Gun. Been... <laughs> Apologize. Why... I thought you'd be proud of that. I hate that guy. I wouldn't watch that. Uh, Sterling, please come back. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm back. Um, Look, before he was a complete douche, um, I loved Tom Cruise movies as a a kid. (laughs) Before before I knew. (laughs) Sorry, guys. I actually wanted to be a pilot. He did it twice. He doubled down. Apologize. Right now. (laughs) You're not missing oh anything. God. Yeah, I, hey, I got shit on so many times for calling it a classic. I love Top Gun. Have at it, guys. I don't love Tom Cruise. Gross. I love Top Gun. No, j- no, it's the imagery. It's the, it's the jets. It's all that. I don't love Tom Cruise. It, you know, I love. I can't tell you when I when I saw the when I saw the new one. I was with my twin brother. I was in the theater. I had an ear to ear grin, not because of Tom Cruise. Just, I knew the director, Joseph Kaczynski, he did the new Tron, and I was so excited to see how he shot the F-18s. There's something about that that just... (laughs) Try hanging up on Blake. You just did it to me. (laughs) Apparently, I I need to apologize to everyone here. Put Blake in timeout. (laughs) I dare you. Oh... Top Gun uh, looks like it would suck. I hate Tom Cruise. I didn't like I him know. when I was a Scientologist. I hated that guy. He's I know, so sorry. cheesetastic. He's awful. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys about I'm not gonna lie to you guys about the movies I like. I, I can't. I mean, Tom Cruise, I look at I've done Tom Cruise videos about what a, a dip shit that guy is. I, I understand that. Um, but I just love Top Gun. I love Top Gun, not Tom Cruise. Top Gun, <laughs> so we're clear. I do love Val Kilmer. I'm sorry. Yeah, I Val Kilmer was in there. Movie. I mean, yeah, Goose. Come on, Anthony Edwards, Meg Ryan. I mean, the movie had so many good. Tom Skerritt had so many good actors in it. Um, so yeah. Anyways, dang, it's cold. And man. that was my only one that I liked of Tom Cruise's. Really, when I was a kid. But I just like Top Gun. Sorry. Yes. Uh, thank you, Anita. Anita, I'm just gonna pull up the ones that that agree with me at this point. Um, <laughs> Where'd you go, Anita? You I saw you. Eye on? Yeah, Ugh. yeah. There you go. Yes, and the soundtrack was amazing. I have to agree with that. Uh, Anita, you take my breath away. Um, I like. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. liked the Breakfast Club. So good, so good. Don, thank you for that, girl. Thank you. Okay. He is the worst actor ever. I agree. It's bad. How is he so popular? Like, how is that dude so big? He is a terrible actor. You know, that's a good question. Like an actually good actor. Think about it for a minute. We just talked about, um, I can think of, um, Alan Rickman was like a truly good actor. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman is like a true actor to me. Like he really, he, he's just so good at it. He's he's unbelievable. Yes, I know. Kelly when I think yeah. of somebody who's a good actor, that's I think Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix yeah. is a fantastic actor. Tom Cruise does not come into my mind when I think of an actor. He's awful. no, and this is why he's never. I don't think he's ever won an Oscar. No, he's not. Um, and and and, Hopkins, and seriously, the, the, yeah, the movie he got closest on, which I actually haven't seen, but I've been told by several people, was the uh, Magnolia, where he's actually acting like oh, himself essentially. I- heard that was a good yeah, movie yeah, yeah. i didn't see it but i heard it was good yeah if you've watched any of my content i've talked about tom cruise and the first time i was told in the C organization oh we call him mr cruise our sir i said go fuck yourself i'm not calling an actor who who's making 300 million who's worth 300 million dollars sir when i'm working 24 7 uh mm-hmm. tr- trying to save the planet I, yeah, so no, believe me, I, I lost all respect for that guy uh, when that happened, and especially with his bromance with Dave Miscavige. Uh, yeah, exactly. Still a Top Gun, though. 
Do you Sorry. want to know a good movie that I've been wanting to rewatch? That I it's, that? sometimes I like the dark movies. I do. I actually just realized that there seems to be a pattern here. A really good movie where the acting was Josh Berlin. Uh, what's his name? Javier Bardem. Oh, Tommy Lee oh, Jones. No Country, Country for, for Old Men. Men. That is such God, a Javier Bardem movie. in that dude is just like uh, what? Yeah, oh but my the God! Acting and the whole everybody's yeah. acting in that was so good. If you, and I know it's dark. Yeah. I love even the lines in that movie. It's such a good movie. If you told people the, the, the concept of that movie, it'd be like, ah, eh, whatever. But then when you put the actors in there, it was so good. It was unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's one of the, yeah. it's weird because it was so dark, but I've probably yeah. seen it 10 times. I could watch it over and over. And, and I don't feel that way about all dark movies. I'm like, I don't need to see that again. That was dark. It was just so good. It was yeah. so put together really well. I've and actually I, seen Brolin I, several, several, several times uh, around town. Uh, nice guy. Really nice guy. Oh, he like, seems like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, I heard he's Tommy Lee Jones like was a dick and it made me sad because I really like Tommy oh, Lee Jones. That sucks. He's so good in so many things. I know yeah. he is. I hope that's not true, but I heard he was a real asshole. Ooh, that's a bummer. I hate it when you find out that out about someone that you really I like. I do too. Yeah, but yeah. I, I mean, what if I'm wrong? I don't even remember where I heard it. And I hope I'm wrong. Because well, I favorite, like him because he stays yeah. out of the spotlight too. Like he has a ranch yeah. somewhere. He's just some yeah. dude off on the pasture. My, my favorite actor of all time, and it was ever since I saw the movie, I just went blank on it. It's Denzel Washington. Um. What was his World War? What was his uh, Civil War movie? That was the. I mean, I fell in love with Denzel Washington the second I saw that. He's you know, still I haven't seen a lot of Denzel movies. Glory. I really Glory. haven't. Yeah, Glory, I haven't seen. Was he in something called Man on Fire? Yes. Oh my I god! With, um, with that girl, with uh, Breslin lady, girl. Um, Wasn't it one of the Breslin girls? No. No, not Breslin. It's um, she got a sister. Can't believe I, I forgot her name. Someone's gonna tell us in a second. Yeah. No, Glory was was uh, look at Denzel Washington is I, I I don't know he's just he's 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 amazing and everything. There's another great movie by the way, V for Vendetta is a fantastic movie. Fanning Dakota, yeah, yeah Dakota. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how we forgot that name. <laughs> she's really cute. She's, she was so cute in that movie. She was oh, cute she's so movie. good. She is so oh, good. Katie, see now this is a dark movie that I saw. I think I accidentally saw it again. Never needed to see it again. It, that movie was really sad. But Joaquin Phoenix is one of the top actors in my book. I think he is such a good actor. He's not typecasted. He can do anything. That's how I know an actor is good. Mm -hmm. um, but that movie, there was no laughter. There was no, it was so sad. Did you see Joker? Yes, I did. Oh, it was sad. That was. I think, really uh, I think Lady actor. Gaga is in the new one. She is. Um, that's coming yeah. out. No, that was a fantastic, and it was done by that. I think it was directed by Judd Apatow, who's normally a, uh, a comedic director. Are you director. sure? No, yeah. I know who that is. I think so, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Check in there a little bit. No, he was so good as that; it's unbelievable. Joker, and was, you I would think never that was... think that someone could compare it to Heath Ledger, but he did. But I mean, it's a different, it's, it's a different genre. I mean, it's the same movie, but sorry, same I... kind of story, but different in in you know. Joker, I think, was the darkest movie I've ever seen. <laughs> I knew I was going to get this reaction. Lady Gaga. I was going to say, you did say that weird, but I didn't point it out. No, Lady it's Gaga. because Zach Galifianakis says that in a movie. I forget which one. Oh, so I okay. always say Zach Galifianakis. Don't get me started on him. He is hilarious. I love, I love Zach him. Galifianakis. Um, yeah, so he says Lady Gaga in a movie. Uh, so I always say it that way for fun, guys. Yeah. yeah. What is the movie um, that Zach Galifianakis did? It was kind of dark. It was pretty dark humor, but it was funny with Robert Downey Jr., Oh, Dude, they're Dude, trying to get home. They get it wasn't dark. They're trying to get home Dude, for uh, just said it, his dude, wife. four times now. Get it right. Open your ears. <laughs> Turn up your volume. <laughs> it's a what, what is it? It's the one where he's trying to go um home <laughs> and, and, and Robert Downey's Jr.'s what? What did I miss something? Um <laughs> <laughs> I didn't miss a beat too. That was good. That was good. Oh, here's um, a good question. Good movie, We're going to remember the name of that. Guys, what was the name of that movie with Robert Downey Jr., Zach Galifianakis? He's trying to get home for the birth of his child. And, and, um, okay. And you're he, overdoing it. Now you're what? overdoing it. What? What am I overdoing? I totally. <laughs> Back at you. Okay, Jenny gets chatty. 
Oh, that could actually be Reese chatty. Uh, who played oh, Batman best? Sakes. Let it go, man. Who played Batman best? Oh, come on. Uh, Reese is going to go with the Nolan. Batman possible. Christopher Nolan movies. No. Definitely uh, my boyfriend. Christopher Nolan movies. Come on, guys. Yeah. Help me. You know the director, but you don't know the name. Because I'm going blank. Christian Bale. He's even young, and I'll take it. Yes. You know what? You know what, chat? Please, uh, Adam West. Yes. The original, the 60s, the TV show that was so good. Um, have you seen the 60s TV show, Batman? No, I don't care about Batman that much. I just care about Christian Bale. Okay. Wow. You got to think for Christian Bale. Didn't know that. In that movie. Oh, my God. All three of the. Well, I didn't care about the first one that much, but the second two were so good. You dug um, Tom, Tom, what's his name? Is Bane. Tom Hardy. Yeah, I thought you. I thought you were going to go for his butler. To be honest with you, I thought you were more Michael Caine type. You know, Michael Caine. Yeah. You know, he just turned ninety-one in like two days ago. That's kind of. Did sad. he really? Yeah, I'm a little depressed about it. Um. No. Actually, uh, I, I think the Hardy. best Batman movies were for sure the Christopher Nolan ones, but I liked Michael Keaton as well, and I see a lot of people are voting for that here. Um. Yeah. 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 Um. That was so sad that um, what's his name died in the second one. Who? I can't. Heath Ledger. I know. Yes. He very played much so. such a good Joker. He was so oh my good. God, he was yeah. good. That the scenes in that were so good. But then I thought Tom Hardy did an amazing job too as Bane. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. How many people did oh. that voice for the rest of the year? Yeah. Do I have an attraction to bad guys? Because like it's. That's such well, a pain. So hot in that dark movies, older bad guys. We're beginning to, there's a beginning to be a little bit of a theme going He's not here. Old. So. They're not old. Him and Joker were not old. That's true. That's true. Maybe it is just bad guys. Mm, Maybe it is bad it guys. A bad guy and I, I was thinking we had a chance, but now I'm out. So thank you so much. Um, <laughs> You're way too good of a guy, Sterling. You've never done anything wrong and that's a problem. <laughs> you um, never made a mistake in your life that's an issue for me okay so for those of any of you that are football soccer fans i met uh well i was uh i was one time i was in la and i went to a hotel and i met the real madrid players and there's a guy on the team named gareth bale and i called him christian bale because of batman and he gave me the worst look there's like I was like, sorry, dude. You have the same last name. Uh, so yeah, but anyways. Uh, I'm yeah, sure it had happened to him before. Well, what Christian, you heard. know, Christian Bale drives like a 2013 Toyota Tacoma around. He doesn't even buy a nice car. Are you serious? Not I'm a serious. Tacoma. Yes. I could have said yes. anything, but a Tacoma. That's the worst. Seriously, yep. I had a boyfriend that drove a Tacoma. That's awful. I know. I agree with you. But Are you yes. sure it was a Tacoma? I saw the picture. They showed it. I saw it on a, on a feed somewhere. Yeah. Although I have to be, that's like, to me, reminds, reminds me of Adam Sandler. He wears like holy sweatpants. Like I kind of like that these guys are loaded and famous and they just don't care. Right. Right. I saw Morgan Freeman driving around like a Ford Tempo. No. <laughs> it, showed, it did. It showed a picture. It was like a Mercury or something. It was like an old town car looking thing. Yeah. No, come on. I think that's kind of cool. I did. I was sitting in a doctor's office and it showed it in a people magazine. That's kind of baller a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit baller. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Um, the tempo. All yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, no, blow drill. Hey, first of all, blow drill. How are you doing, dude? Um, I love when I'm Dylan. Back, when I'm back from my trip, I so want to get on with Jackson, blow drill, Mike Brown. And I, and actually I'm going to do an interview. I'm going to do an interview with, um, who are you pointing at? You? <laughs> dude. You've got my Sunday, sweetheart. You're the only person I got on Sundays. You don't have to I worry about that. I thought we were going to do a game night. I thought you were talking well, about all of them game together. Night. And, then, and then I want to do an interview with Miriam's brother, Sam Francis, who was at the ranch, uh, but not the same time as me. Uh, I want to I want to talk to him about that. So it'll be a, a, a kind of a fun interview. Um, I like the Jared Leto joke. Oh, Jared Leto joke. Now, what's the Jared Leto joke? I thought you were saying you like Jared Leto. I was going to say, no, I disagree. He's horrible. Um, yeah, I don't like him at all. That guy sucks. But, yeah. Anyways. Hey, hey, blow drill. How you doing, dude? Um, all right. Let's see what we got. I thought you were talking about a game night and you were leaving me out. No, hell no. You're in for that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Is it game night without you? 
Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. Keep going. Who else is going to answer the cottage cheese question? Okay. I know mm. it's coming. Before I forget, by the way, Reese, you keep posting these shorts. I don't know who's doing that. I love it. It cracks me up. I'm them. like, uh, she's in here. I think Kathy Ann, my mod, she's so good at it. She's a genius. Kathy Ann, I, I, I swear to God, when those things pop up in my feed, I watch them every time, no matter what's happening. And I, and I get a, such a kick out of them. Please don't stop. She's Please so good stop. at it. I know she's so good at it. I yeah, told her to yeah. make a short this morning. Usually she just does her own thing, but I, Sterling, I don't know if you saw, I did a reenactment of what it's like to be on, <laughs> on course. <laughs> When, when, like, when, like, a Sea Org member comes in or somebody yeah, yeah. important, because yeah. the senior CS would come in to check on the students sometimes. Yeah. And I did a reenactment the other day. I told her to make a short out of it because I was like, and then I would pretend that, like, one of them would walk in and I was like, <laughs> 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 like, I was super, because that's what would happen. I totally would do that because you couldn't just sit there and read happily. Like, you had nope. to really make a point to be like, this is so good. Yeah. Was it, is it VGIs? Does everyone know the VGIs. word VGIs? I've explained yeah. it the other night. Yep. I said you yep. could GIs, good indicators. You had to be very good indicators. And so, so, yeah. So I got you on that one. I fell asleep in the course room when Dave Miscavige was doing an inspection and Shelly Miscavige came up and slapped me on the shoulder to wake me up before he saw me. <laughs> Actually saved me from him seeing me because I would have just been toast. I was listening... No, I'm not even joking. Like she bailed yep. me out. So I don't know why she did it, Dylan. but she bailed me out. Yeah. So guys, yeah. this is true. You had to be cogniting, which is like oh, yeah. having an epiphany, realizing things on course. Yeah. That's what I was trying to explain. I said, yeah. Sterling and I should totally do this together because uh, you can't just like literally, you can't just, that's not good indicators. When no. a soup or like somebody important walks in, no joke. I was like, I would sit up straighter and I'd be like, <laughs> He's so good. He's so good. You can tell what a, what a genius. Well, you do, oh my you God. do this, right? This is another one I used to do. It's like this. It's like. <laughs> Me too. Me too. You'd look up at the ceiling. Yes. 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 Like, you would like totally nod your thought. head. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you'd be yeah. like, oh. like I would, but I would comment. Like I would get loud about it. I'd be like, you know, I read this in my last life, but it's better. This thing gets better every time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I would do when the, when the, when the, uh, word clear would come around to, to, to do the meter checks, right? I, the second I saw them come to my table, I'd flip open the dictionary and because pretend they you were in the middle of a word. The yep. Me you too. The dictionary open. <laughs> Me too. I would say I was in the middle of a word chain. Yes. <laughs> you guys, a word is wor a word chain is way worse because that's when you go to look up a word and then you get a misunderstood word in the definition of that. And then you get another misunderstood word. So you're like for four hours working on a word chain. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I would do too. They'd come to do their meter checks and I'd be like, I'm in the middle of a word chain. I'll get back to you in next course period. <laughs> you could always pull up the dictionary right away too. It was awesome. It was like, I would um, open like four dictionaries on purpose yeah. just to act like I was really studying and connecting the dots. Oh my and how about, God. How about the, so the, the thing of pointing? You'd be just to make sure they understood that you were studying. You'd be like, you'd be like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, and then would you get out the demo kit and like start playing yes. with stuff just to make it look like you're really thinking. Sometimes I'd be like, I think I'm going to have to go do this in clay. Just yeah. so I could like kill time. Absolutely. No, they are not that smart. They actually don't know. No, because there's no, there's no other gauge other than mm -hmm. are you very good indicators, which means VGIs, good indicators, mm -hmm. or BIs, which is bad indicator, which sounds mm -hmm. like an STD. Um, no, they, they did not know. It was actually kind of a funny thing. Um, <laughs> you had some mass. <laughs> If you're studying about tractors and you don't actually have a tractor there, you then you don't have the You got to go to a farm. You got yeah, to go to a farm. farm. Oh, that's the other thing. That's I did get away with that a couple of times. If I was studying something and I could get out of the courtroom to go look at it, I would do that. Yep. I would take Me that too. loophole to go out and Me do too. it. Yeah. No. But and I wasn't so a good funny. student. Oh, I was a terrible student. But Sterling, it's so funny because I would do that too. I would be reading because you can't just read. You have to like nod and, and be really like you're into it. Yeah. So like when I would have headphones on listening to a lecture, I'd be like, <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> like you really have to play it up. I was you like, were so good because because when I was listening to a lecture, it was pretty simple. It was this. Same until somebody walks in. Yeah. I literally would be asleep and then I'd be like, <laughs> like I would yeah, totally, you got to look up too. I love how I forgot that part yeah. where you, when the, when the, when you, you, they'd walk by and you'd go. Like you would have to pretend like you were really thinking of the concept. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It's so true. It is so, it's so true. And, and it was like, uh, I mean, like, like guys, if you if you want to torture someone, like forget waterboarding, just oh, put yeah, them in I'd a room be waterboarded. And, and, and tie headphones and put headphones on. They can't take off and make them look at L. Ron Hubbard lectures. It, it, I already <laughs> said the other day. I said I would rather be um, picking out my casket. Yeah, absolutely. No, hundred percent. I would run and write my obituary. It was torture. And say my goodbyes. Oh, and, and here's what they used to do at Golden Era Productions. It was worse. You would. Do no exercise all week. It would be 100 degrees. On Saturday, they would make you go out and do grounds and construction work all day. You had water. You then go home, shower, change, come in, and they would feed you ice cream as a dessert for dinner, which is actually kind of nice. But anyways, nonetheless, it's a lot of sugar. And then put you directly into a tape play in a room that they were so cheap that they wouldn't actually cool it anywhere below 76 degrees. Then you had to try and stay awake for an hour and a half lecture from Elrond Hubbard that starts with no point and ends with no point and makes no sense. They would send the ethics officers, the MAAs, the enforcers up and down the aisles to spot anyone that may be dozing off. Now, this is different than the course room. It was much worse than the course room because if you were caught dozing off. It had nothing to do with the temperature in the room, the fact that you were exhausted beyond belief and that you didn't eat enough food and just completely loaded yourself with sugar. They would then put you on the meter, not to check if you had a misunderstood word, but to see if some overt was missed. It was basic yeah. torture uh, in the end. I mean, it was torture. I, I so did not look forward to going to that. I would rather clean for three hours than go to an LRH lecture for sure. Yeah, it was torture. Yeah. Yeah, can't stand his um, voice. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That's the oh, truth. That's the truth. They would. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. No, I yeah. think Aaron took it seriously. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, no, it was taken seriously. But that is the truth, guys. They would send people to come in and and check you. Yeah. So I mean, while you're looking like this, people would come in, and you'd have to really. Like you can't just read with a straight face because it's not no. good indicators. No. You have to be reading. You have to be nodding. You have to be like really thinking and getting full conceptual understanding is what they call it. And then you like have to kind of look away for a minute to make eye contact with the supervisor. And so good. That's what I would do. I would just be like, what an author, what a character. Yeah. <laughs> God, you can really tell he was OT 15. <laughs> like was, I would really fall. I'd be like Ron was just my best friend, just the best friend oh, of humanity, God. wasn't he? And the fact like, that I'd really to, lay it on thick. The fact that he used to barnstorm in the twenties and fly airplanes under phone lines and electrical. I mean, this guy was unbelievable. I it mean, it makes so. me think of Vince Vaughn at the end of Old School. Did you see Old School? Yes. Yes. Remember when they're all cheating on the test and they have yeah. their headphones in, and the guy <laughs> checks on Vince Vaughn and he winks and he goes, "Good test." <laughs> Such a good movie. Such a good movie. <laughs> good test. Yeah, that's how I felt about it. I'd be like, great lecture. Oh my God, this one's better than the last. It just gets better every time. I I hate yeah. to burst your bubble, by the way, but I did hear this though. No, that's because yeah, he, he drives a Toyota Tacoma. He did, yeah. That's because of his Tacoma, I guarantee yeah. you. He would be. Well, he's probably angry that it, it broke down. Um, okay, this is from Blow Drill. On Sundays, we had to CSP, which is Clean Staff Project. Why would you invent another name for cleaning your room? I mean, it makes no sense. Um, but a white glove pass. So that means someone had to come in with a white glove and they, they would go over every surface to, to, to you know, literally. Yeah. My dad did white glove checks at home. Did he really? I never had to clean as a child. God damn it. I want to punch your dad. We had to have, our, we had white glove checks every week at home. Oh my God. You're kidding me. Yeah. Why do you think I'm such an effing neat freak? 
come on, man. Wow. Yeah. You need to, you know what? You need to get a mealy vacuum. I think that would help you out a lot. I, <laughs> do you want to <laughs> provide one for me, Mr. Tesla? Now that I'm, now that I know you have four Teslas and three Harleys. <laughs> Your parents did it too, blow drill. See, what? Sterling's the only one that had cool parents. I, I fucking scored. I seriously, on that regard, I think I scored a little bit too. Um, no, my dad never made me clean shit. Nothing. Yeah. Well, uh, no, he made me do the dishes every once in a while, but that's fine. I was like, okay, you know, not a big loss. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Sorry. Mom's texting me. Wait, witness does not like, Hey, hi. Hey witness. How you doing? By the way, you're awesome. I love you. I love witness. Uh, have you seen Christian Bale in American Psycho? He was so good at, that I, yeah no he was so good you know did, apparently there's a story going around that he based part of that I character was off told of it wasn't true yeah he said it wasn't true oh damn it was tom cruise it. yeah how he yeah. said like there was an emptiness behind the eyes or something that he was channeling okay yeah yeah i saw that too but i mean i don't know maybe he really did say it but yeah i, I heard that wasn't true that was a creepy ass movie i heard the book was really good oh it was what? a creepy ass movie. fulton has a mealy I love you, Mealy. Why don't I know this about you? Um, block A. You can you can try to punch me, but I will block it with the wand on my Mealy. I'll be like, ha, 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 yeah, yeah. No, don't fuck with me. I got a Mealy, dude. I what will was that knock again? you out. With, I will knock you out with my Mealy. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, but, intense but, friendliness behind the eyes, but no. Yeah. But he said it was empty, but he said it was like intense friendliness behind the eyes, but there was nothing there. Or there was no one yeah. home or something like that. Did you see that movie? Which one? American, American Psycho? Psycho? Oh my God, the worst. I had a friend that loved that movie. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Though so every once in a while, when I get in front of a mirror, I do do this. You know, yeah. I only saw, I think, bits and pieces of that movie because I don't remember the whole movie. It's um, dark. You know, see, like that movie kind of freaked me out. But then you go back to what I was saying. No Country for Old Men was one that I loved. It was dark, but I loved it. There's a difference. Okay. I don't know. Isn't that weird? Well, you, you like dark. I seem you to like, like dark, dark and bit. bad boys. That seems yeah. to be a thing for me. My first crush was Hannibal Lecter, but I love the bad boys. Speaking of, there's Tommy himself. Hello, lifeboat. Um, oh yeah. Speaking of lifeboat guys, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going on Tommy's show tonight. He has a new thing where people are allowed to call in and ask questions and I get to test it for the first time with him. And that will be Ooh. tonight at nine, nine o'clock my time. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. Sorry, Sterling. I had to, I had to advertise that. I hope you guys come over and watch it. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, no pro I have dinner with friends tonight. Um, you know what, actually, can, can I do a quick survey? So I got these two, one, two of my closest friends, John and Julia. They're Swedish, <laughs> not like the chef, uh, but they're You've Swedish. You've talked about them before. Right. And well, so, so, so John and Julia could be anybody, right? So I refer to them as my. <laughs> <laughs> like that. What You know what? I, I believe you would never punch me, but a little bit. So I have a Tesla. So sometimes I can understand why people want to punch me. It's seriously yeah, just definitely. for the breaks, guys. It's just for the breaks. Um, but. Where was I, Reese? Because I'm drinking, I'm having a margarita. Water. Your friends, I, John and Julia. Yes. So I call them my Swedish friends. Is that weird to label them my Swedish friends? Because I, when, yeah, when, I, when, I, ref, <laughs> when I refer to them as, as John and Julia, John and Julia just are normal names. You wouldn't know. It's not like Hendrik or Gustafsson. So I refer to them as my Swedish friends. Tell me it's if you think that's, weird. that's weird. Okay. You think it's that's weird? weird. Uh -huh. okay. It's a little weird. Okay. Do you have any foreign friends, Reese? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel with a lot of foreign friends. <laughs> yeah. Chaotic no. Bleach is in Ireland. Alex. No, I do not think about meatballs every time I think in blow trouble. That's actually funny. Um, <laughs> um, uh, wait, wait, wait. Someone said this. Who was it? Here. That's Jilbo Baggins. I have her Swedish friend named Anders as well. Actually, that's funny. Okay, good. It's a common name, by the way. Yeah, I'm Reese's foreign friend. See, Alex, chaotic bleach. She's Irish. Okay, okay. I, you know, guys, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, 
Yeah, and I do the Swedish I do the Swedish chef impersonation, which they don't even know who he is. Um, but you want to do it I for just, us, just in case someone doesn't know? No, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. Really? But what, what's Sterling. what's funny? What's I love you, Reese, but I'll do it at the end. What's funny though then is you would that do it now, if you really loved me, I feel like I'm being pressured. Oh yeah, my friend mean, Miriam. She's Australian. I don't say my Australian friend Miriam. Weirdo. Right. I get, you know, I, I get, I get this weird in a way, but also when I'm just, when I'm talking about them, you know, it, you know what I think not. it is? I think it's a dick swinging thing. You and your Tesla and your expensive vacuum. You're like my Swedish friends. <laughs> I want to be sophisticated. So I make it. That's what it but... is. You're kind of a dick swinger. <laughs> That's what it is. I just realized well, that. I call yeah. Aaron my bald friend. I mean, that makes sense, right? <laughs> Hey, Ron. Um, <laughs> My bald friend. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, right. Someone says they're labeled a gym friends. Okay, you know, whatever. It's me. Guys, I put, it's funny. I will forget your name, but if you tell me where you're from, I will remember it forever. It's weird. I don't know what that is. I don't think it has anything to do with Scientology. I think it's how I'm wired. But if you say you where you're from. Did you try to pull the string on it? You pull, yeah. Did you go yeah, back on your time track? Tank. The Sherman tank. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That, That's it though. Chaotic yeah, bleach right there. Friend? Is that how you yeah. refer to me? Yes, I Is do. My, my sexy green friend. Yes. That's exactly you just, how I refer to you. Do you just say my sexy friend Reese? Is that how you say mm -hmm. it when you talk about me? I say I, whenever I'm I was like, yeah, I talk to Reese. Oh, to be, to be clear, my sexy as hell friend today yeah that's exactly how i is that what you say you so and much. then when you say reese do your friends at this point just go oh you're sexy friend yeah we know you're talking it, about. It, it, right away they go, oh that sexy girl i'm like yes yeah. that one yeah you got it i you knew it. it i kind of figured it's yeah. instant that it's, it's, yeah 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 that adds up yeah it checks out <laughs> that's what i should have um, called my channel what's that your sexy Sex friend reese my second, you know, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's is a great idea. unbelievable. Can you imagine referring to yourself as sexy? That would be the worst thing I can think of. You know, someone referred to themselves as, as you know, I'm I'm part of the hot girl club. And I'm like, why would you label that? Um, that would, there's nothing worse than, that was to say that that's the worst thing. But then the, the worst thing is when someone refers to themselves as like famous or a celebrity. Like, can you imagine <laughs> if someone were like, I'm kind of famous or. I'm kind of a famous TikToker. Or I'm a famous celebrity. Can you imagine? Like that's, yeah. I would never want to speak to a person who said that's the worst thing I can think of. Yeah. Aside from being like my, I'm so sexy. Yeah. Uh, I'm too sexy. Hey, Sharon, by the Sharon T. I, I, I uh, starred that so we can answer it later. Um, so just to save you some finger action, I definitely starred that so we can answer it. Um, and Lily Garfield, um, sexy Reese is so sexy. Yes. Thank you especially so much. In green. Green, by the way, green compliments you. You look. Does gorgeous. it really? Yeah. It, yeah. It, my eyeballs are green. I told you, Bernice. Oh, yeah. into the forever. I I love your look tonight, Bernice. Thank you, babe. That is so sweet of you. Wow. You know what's crazy is I haven't washed my hair in like four days. That's so nice. Same here. Um, the one. Did thing you get a haircut? By the way, last Sunday no. was getting out of control. No, I'm getting a haircut on on Tuesday. No, no, it's actually kind of long, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's kind of long. There. Yeah. No, look at when I so I I ran back from practice, took a shower, felt so good. Um, I didn't want to mess with the hair, so I threw a hat on. Um, she said it's I not weird. To... Okay. Wendy yeah. Brewer, I'm so sorry, babe. I feel sad for you. There's a Swedish club. I gotta join that. I gotta join that. Hey, you know, surprised so, you're so, not already a member because you're kind of dick swingy. Go on. <laughs> So no, even in the seer, even in Scientology, there was quite a few Swedish people that I was close friends with. And so that, I guess maybe that has a correlation. I don't know what about that, but I've always Swedish. I, first of all, Swedish people are actually pretty, pretty awesome. I got to say, um, my Have closest Swedish, one? Swedish friend, John is a private pilot. He's an amazing pilot. Uh, not as good a tennis player. Um, and it's funny because he wants to beat me all the time. So it's, it, I'll get texts in the middle of the day saying, do you want to play? Because well, right now it, it, he's catching up. It, it's, it's 65 to five. He, he's getting there. <laughs> but he, uh, he always, he's, he's my biggest competitor in tennis. So it's kind of fun. And he's an awesome person. Um, and him and, him and his girlfriend, Julia, like to go to dinner. So we go to dinner like 
Every time they're in town, we go to dinner. They're awesome. So, yeah. Yep. You Who's go to winning? dinner a lot, Sterling. I'm not going to lie. I no, like I don't actually. Kind of a no, guy I about don't. That. Yes, you do. Every no. time I'm talking to you on, to, on the phone, you're like going to get a coffee. Or you're going to get like brunch it's somewhere. Funny. All last week, I didn't go to dinner. I cook at home most of the time. I love cooking at home. It, it's kind By of yourself? baller and fun. Just and you and your vacuum? I cook with my melee. It does everything. It's unbelievable. I can put eggs on the top of it and it heats them up. It's fantastic. That's wild. Sterling, I really, yeah. Uh, this like is true. Maybe get a lady friend. This is true, by the way. I'm going to Sweden this year. And I've been told that if you're American, a male American, and you go to Sweden, you're like a celebrity. They're also all seven foot tall. So you're going to be, you're going to have a little bit of a height issue, but that's okay. I'll what? just bring a school with me. Yeah. Swedish ladies they are like tall. Americans, male dudes. Male they Americans. love America. Apparently they love Americans. What I've been told. Yeah. What if you got yourself a little Swedish girlfriend? I, right. Dude. What are you going to do with her though? Do you bring her back or do you move there? What do you guys do? I bring do? her back. I put on a chef hat and I do my, my Swedish impersonation. And she walks out the door. It's pretty simple. <laughs> <laughs> right right I, exactly my friend is 511 no they're, they're are they giant. tall Swedish over there food. yeah yeah absolutely absolutely yeah why what does I that don't mean know. i don't understand I, I, I think it's the scandinavian the the viking genes i think they're very, very tall yeah hmm. i didn't know that yeah. that would be cool to be really tall what are swedish fish i don't know what swedish fish are Really? Like They're just like little gummies. They're good. They're all right. Well, you actually know this? How do you know this? Um, Huxley gets them in his Halloween candy and I pick them out and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know they're, all this, they're all the same flavor. I love gummy, like gummy bears, but they're all the same flavor. So they're just kind of boring. They taste like something from the 80s. <laughs> they're pretty oh antiquated. God, they're, actually, they're actually called Swedish fish. I'm going to ask my friends about that tonight. I've never... In my whole entire life, I've never heard about that. You're fucking weird. Why? You're 50 years old. Okay. Viking jeans. I think I wore those in the 90s. No. Block A read. so cute. Do not send me those. I don't eat candy. Please do not send me those. But I, oh, you I can love send them heart. to me. You can send them to me, Blake. I'll eat yeah, them. Send them, send them, them. to Blake. And I love gummy, them. gummy candy. Send them to Reese, and we'll eat them live. Or she'll eat them live. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I will, Blake. Yes, I will. Because yeah. Blake, you sent me the whorehound candy. I don't know what you were trying to imply, but you were right. Um, and it was good. It was good. I I used to shop at IKEA all the time. No, I I don't any longer. Um, I used to I've love building. Never IKEA liked furniture. IKEA. No, no, they've got good know. stuff. You know, when I got married in the Sea Org, my dad actually bought me IKEA furniture. So that was the first time I had it. Like, it was I was kidding. Nice. You don't have to do that. It, it was. <laughs> He's a, like, it you got a... it, Reese. Now I'm obligated. <laughs> um, uh, no, IKEA sucks. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't mind IKEA. Why don't you like IKEA? Look, there's some basic stuff. If you don't have to put it together, that's fine. Now, I haven't been to one in years, but. I don't want to buy something that takes, yeah, you know, I have to put together. I don't even like opening a can. I don't want to have to do that. Okay. Makes sense. I love putting furniture together. So that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. You love yep. putting furniture together. Oh, I got to ask this. I do. I, it's one of my things. Um, the fish are not from Sweden, Sterling. Do it. Ask your friends about the candy. I'm asking my friends about the candy tonight, Reese, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah. Great. Swedish, Why don't you do the Swedish chef Swedish while you're at it, it and just piss him off? <gasps> He's doing it. No, nope, oh, almost. That was cute. Even, totally. in, even in your weird little voice, that was cute. Uh, <laughs> He's so, so IKEA good. isn't for Come you. On. Doesn't mean it sucks. Well, it sucks for me. That's all. I'm not saying it sucks for you. I don't speak for everybody. I'm speaking for me. I don't like it. Rosalind, does Sterling avoid sugar or just candy? You know, I do avoid sugar. Um, I don't avoid it, but I just don't eat a lot of it. It's, um, you know, in your diet, it can, it, it can mess you up. Um, but I don't avoid it. I love cookies as we know. Um, but, uh, you know, I just don't eat it on a regular, regular basis. So a good question. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, I don't sugar, love it either. Sugar is a drug. That is true. That is very true. Oh yeah. Ikea has some cute hanging lights. Yeah, they do. Their lamp sections really good. I've gotten some good rugs there. 
Um, look at that. How come your new Mac doesn't do it? Uh, you know, I, I spent too much on the Mac. It doesn't have that special thing. I don't know why it doesn't do it, actually. I'm actually good because it just freezes anyways. Wait a second. Did you do that right? Try it again. Try what again? Heart and then blow. Blow now. No. You freak <laughs> out about this every time, and it's really become a problem you've got to put your hands where the hearts oh, are coming here we go yeah. I, this it's a problem every time for you okay oh what's this that you got you nailed it you're awesome sterling please give us your famous cocktail recipe or bring it with you on the cruise guys i'm drinking something different today now i'm just kind of um it, it it's it's a uh it's a reposado um mezcal tequila Two and a half ounces, uh, Cointreau, one ounce, and then about an ounce of lime juice over ice. So it's pretty easy. Um, and Reese has water. Um, no, I'm drinking a new electrolyte. It's uh, blue raspberry. I got them at Whole Foods, and it's oh my so God. good. I can't stop drinking it. Is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, the uh, like one of these none things or? No, it's the brand I like called Ultima. Okay. U-L-T-I-M-A, and it they come in packets or in a jar, and you can scoop it. And they're on sale right now at Whole Foods. The scoop ones are like 16 bucks, and they're usually like 24 So I got some nice. yesterday, and the blue raspberry is so good. Huxley loves it, too. Robin Miner. Sterling, what's the P.O. box? I have a lovely vintage Dodgers piece for you. Ooh, that's exciting. I, I will have the P.O. box at the end of this week. Um Yes, Duchess Diana. Thank you so much. The pink cocktail I made in the pool was a Paloma. Was a Paloma, oh, and I yeah, have posted. Right. Yeah, I've posted on my um, community page the actual ingredients for that, so you can nail it. And then there was one other one in here. The P.O. Oh box. yeah, Atkins in Texas. Yes, a mezcal reposado starts bitter, and then ends with vanilla, which is amazing. Sorry, my sister just sent me pictures of her kids, and they're so cute. Oh, nice. She said, how about these guys? They're so cute. Guys, I really want to go visit family. I get a little sad that I don't live near any of my family. This is a great question, Reese. W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G-T-V-742. You both seem, seem very successful. I don't know why you're saying that exactly, but did Scientology have it? anything to do because with that. Because you have a Tesla. That's why. That's why they're saying Teslas that. are not that expensive, by the way. Oh, please. Um, uh, um, go ahead. You first. I'm not. Well, I'm not successful. So I, I don't know why it seems that way. Um, I think Scientology, I, I, I do attribute Scientology to maybe the way we talk, Sterling. I mean, we don't have any back off on speaking. We're good at communicating. We've drilled it a million hours. Right. Probably. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not shy about anything. So what do you think? I don't know. But um, I do think I could a, probably have a good job and be successful for sure. Yeah. Probably. Well, there's a work ethic that comes with it. But but honestly, my first thought, you know, look, at you're only a year out, which people for, tend to forget, by the way, which is amazing. I really got to say, Reese, I love you. And it's amazing um, that I, I would say the state that you're in, considering what you've lost and all the different things. Thank you, babe. Yeah, I really think it's amazing how, how, how you've been coping and, and handling. And I know you still go to therapy and fantastic and all that kind of stuff. And how you're working with Huxley through that, I find that amazing. I'm almost 10, 15 years out. Um, but there's a work ethic and, and, and a precision and a, yeah. a, a dedication to being perfect to some degree that you do get from being in Scientology. That's a double-edged sword because one thing, it does make you more concise in your actions and how you approach your job. On the other end, you're also kind of sensitive to any uh, criticism you get. I struggled for the first five years, guys. I, I had a hard time. There was two Christmases where I had no money. Uh, that was Thank torture. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, that was torture. And then after that, you know, I, I had a close friend that just told me one day, why don't you try doing this? And I tried doing that. And um, I've been doing it now for almost 10, 15 years. And I, you know, I forever love that person. She is fantastic. And, and, you know, it kind of fit right into my skill set. and, uh, I do it today and I love it. And, you know, I don't know if it's successful is the word, but happy. How about that? Happy would be the word. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. There we go. I mean, 
as bad as Scientology is, I, I, I do think there are some things that I came out of it with the communication thing. I don't know what kind of person I would be with, without, without being raised in it. Would I be as chatty and like, Oh, thank you, Alex. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree. She is. I agree. She is. Thank I mean, guys. seriously, we, we come from a pretty messed up environment. Um, and it's, and it's, it's tough on a lot of people. And this is why, this is why, honestly, I'm excited about Aaron's new foundation. And I'm excited. I mean, even guys, I know people have problems with the aftermath foundation. I get that. Uh, but they have done so much good work. Um, you know, up to this point, they've done so much things. And, and I've mentioned several times, Reese, I've mentioned it to you. Look at Mark and Claire gave me a job when I had no job, when I had no money, when I had no place to go before there yeah. was a foundation, they gave me a job to work for them. And I will forever be grateful for that. Um, but I'm so excited now that we're going to have two foundations and there's actually a way for people who leave to get help. Uh, you know, most of, most of the ex Scientology and Sierra members, they're, they're going to look down on therapy on anything like that. They're just going to go, Oh, I can tough this out. I'm, I'm tougher than that, but that's not really the case. They do need help. And, and direction from people is, is vital. So vital. And I think having, two different foundations with different people with different views is actually going to work out uh, better for everyone. And I really hope that's the case because, uh, you know, I think a lot more people are going to be coming out in, in the near, near future. And uh, yes, I yeah. agree with you. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I'm really excited about this foundation and guys, yeah. thank you for everybody saying what you're saying. I see the comments. It's really kind. Yeah. Um, Blake said, I never uh, got the feeling that you guys were successful, but more so that you were tired from being beaten down. You had a work ethic that seemed to get you far, but you always seemed drained. Oh, it's interesting. Very interesting. It, it is. Yeah. 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 The, <laughs> the favorite, the favorite question, Mara, how are you doing? Um, I, I just don't for, for, for a number of reasons. I don't disclose what my exact profession is. But um, I, I can tell you this, what I do, I love. Uh, it, it takes all my skill set. Um, it works to my advantage. It, it's fun. I enjoy it. There's never a dull day. And, and, and you know, it's everything changes every day. So it's something I really enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I love Dylan. You're amazing, Sterling. Your compassion and empathy shines bright support and love your healing journey and ability to hold space for others. That is so true, you guys. Dylan, you said that really well. Thank you, Dylan. Guys, if you haven't watched my content, you got to know Dylan and I had a brief moment where we met each other a long, long time ago, and he forever stayed in my mind as a kind, compassionate person. And so when I saw he was uh, doing content, um, I right away jumped on that because uh, he's a fantastic person. Everything you see from him in his content and when he talks is, is Dylan through and through. And, and I love the guy. He's a fantastic person. Yeah. And it's not safe to disclose because he works for the CIA. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> He's not safe. It's not safe. Um, that's so kind. You guys are so nice. Very, very nice. I, I appreciate that. Do you want to do some of these uh, starred ones? Yeah, sure. Let's knock it out. You want to pull I them up? Actually, I think I did a lot of the super chats. I think I got it all. The By the way, Mark Hardman, are you still in here? Thank you. See, that's the other cool thing. They can gift memberships to other people. It's just really what exciting. What does that mean? Really. It means that, that mean? you bought 10 memberships for just rando people. YouTube picks them. Thank you, wow, Wendy. You are, you are a kind gentleman, Reese. Thank you. <laughs> I, um, I am a nice looking man, aren't I? Yes. Yeah. I do uh, look I like a dude. I have to say that I have been flirting with 12,000 for about a month now. It goes from 11,994 to 11,998 and then back to 11,968. It's You're really close torture. to 12. I actually looked today. Guys, yeah. please, please, please. I'm saying please. Go over and subscribe to him. Most of you already are. Everybody yeah, loves most of you already are, but check if you still are, because I have a feeling it just goes up and down. I think I even got to 11,998, and I don't really look so at it that much, but I was like, oh, my God, that's so close. It's ridiculous. Um, it's so annoying. If you're not, it's go stupid. ahead and subscribe. If you don't want to, totally understand. And totally I understand. never know your channel. I just look you up by Sterling Tompkins. So tell me. Right, right, right. Yeah, because there's so many Sterling Tompkins. Uh, leaving Scientology, loving life, guys. It's uh, long. I, try to, I forget it. I try to do positive content. One of the reasons why I love being on with Reese. Uh, I talk about the, the horror stories, but at the same time, I also 
try to understand. So people Thank you, Wendy. who are in there might be get a chance and see that you can live out here. You can have a good life. You can be successful and you can be happy after Scientology. So it's, it's important to me. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I see you. Um, Teresa, that's such a nice thing to say. It's I have so much respect nice. and admiration for both of you to come before the world and share what you continue to go through. It's amazing. I wish you both insane, insane success in every area of your life. Thank you, Teresa. You know, Sterling, I don't know if I didn't tell you this. I did a podcast last couple of weeks ago and it got released this week on Friday. You didn't tell and me it got released. It did. You didn't tell me I'll, about it. I can send it to you. It was, um, I told you the cons, honey, I see you. Ugh, I told you the concept. Um, was yes. it's called better call daddy and she's so cool and she gets your story and then her dad watches it and gives his input right right I and love he that. made me cry he was so good at the end i got to see it and it was so good it was so good <laughs> hey, okay, so can you, do you have a link to that because i'd love to see it uh mods there you go mods put You're it up awesome. um i will send it to you sterling okay good Thank you so um, much. Okay, so let's see. Did you watch from Field Taxi Driver? Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Um, let me put this one back up, and then you pull that one back up. From Taxi okay. Driver, the sensitive nature of my work for the government demands utmost secrecy. <laughs> yes, that's true. Very true. Very I love true. John. Yeah. Did you see Field of Dreams? I did see Field of Dreams. Uh, you know, I liked it. I didn't love it. Shoeless Joe Jackson, the 1990 Black Sox. Uh, guys, The Natural with Robert Redford was was my favorite movie, baseball movie as a kid. Major League was, was a close second. So, yeah. Kathy Ann's the one that makes all my shorts, by the way. She's amazing. But yeah, Kathy, Kathy we, Ann, share, we have a lot in common. Kathy yeah. Ann's amazing. Um, oh, I need to watch this. I saw yes. the program this weekend. So intense. I am kind of nervous to watch it. What? No, you know what? The, 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 the lead girl in that is amazing, Reese. Reminds me a little bit of you. And, um, you no, know, she, her survival and how she looks at things to me is, is unbelievable. So watch it because it's not as, it's not as damaging or, or painful as you think because of the way she addresses it. it she's so good at it. You know, she's not a complete victim. She's a victim that knows there's light at the end of the tunnel. So I, I love her. Yeah. She's fantastic. All right. Okay. You must have te you must have starred that. Oh, Sterling, if you were to create an ex Scientology or Scientology Survivor theme cocktail, what would it be? Thinking one with whiskey, peach, shoppe, orange juice, and splash of soda, and call it golden. Ah, that's great. That's the one. Then I, I can't even get better than that. That sounds fantastic. Yep. Um, yep. I just wanted to say, Alex said she's Northern Irish, and I don't drink. Don't worry about it. Also, we don't wear green. It's an American thing. Is it really? I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. And then I don't think I, we saw this one. Bad news bears. Oh, wait, we did. Cause yep. we talked about yep. it. Okay. Um, Thank you. Pokey SD. Oh, I did this one. That reminds me. Sorry for drunk texting you Reese. My friends wanted to send you that horrendous picture. So I did Blake. I thought that was so cute. And I wish I would have caught it in the moment when you were drunk and not the next day. I loved it. I love you, Blakey. Um, it's just because you work all the time and don't upload all the time. That's Atkins. Yes, that is true. Part of it is that because, you know, I, I've slowed down on my videos because of the workload. But guys, my year goes goes in, you know, ebbs and flows kind of. So hopefully I can pick it up because there's quite a few people that I need and want to interview and, and there's content I want to do. So hopefully we get back to it. That's why you keep teetering close to 12,000. It's spicy. Exactly. Cat yeah, exactly. Yeah. Seriously, though, guys, he's really close. Come on. I know, right? It's right there. 11996. 11999. <laughs> Are you serious? You're that close? I'm 11999 right now. Oh, come on, guys. No, Get him I over just the hit edge. 12. I just hit 12. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. I just hit 12. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to drop by next I week. But that's okay. At least I hit 12. I can everybody say I else who's not subscribed, subscribe so that he yeah. gets a little over the mark. That's ridiculous. Yay. He hit 12,000. Oh Sterling. yeah. I'm so glad and when we get a new foundation, you. another foundation, I will do a fundraiser. I haven't figured out for what yet, but I will do a fundraiser. Why don't you do it for the new foundation? Well, yeah, I guess so. I, I kind of want to pick a subject though, but that's just me. Okay. Uh, call the win. First time commenting. Really enjoy you two when you are together. Thank you, my friend. That's so Thank nice. You so much. We enjoy um, it. That's amazing. 
I am so protective of my time off and what I do on my time off. The only reason I do this is because Reese, I really do love talking to you. I love talking to you. And I know that I know you're actually a really busy guy and Sterling. I'm glad you did this today because I won't see you for like three weeks. So I, I might. <laughs> Thank you, Maylee Linda. Um, no, I, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when I'm traveling. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Will Huber. I don't know, honestly, when it will be announced. I don't, I mean, that's going to be up to Aaron. Do you know, have you heard? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully okay. soon. It's all paperwork as far as I know. Yeah. Um, oh, don't forget my comment. Uh, Sharon T. Make sure we pull that one out. I thought we already, wa I thought we already addressed it. She wanted to know if you saw some movie. Did she? Monster Squad. <laughs> yes. No, no. Oh, wait, wait, which one? The original one or the one with, with uh, Vani Ravisi? Um, maybe I don't know it. No. So the answer would probably be no. If I don't, if I don't, if it's not one that's on the top of my head, thank you for asking. And thank you for reminding me, by the way, I appreciate that. I thought we already addressed it. Otherwise I would have brought it up. I'm sorry. No, I think I thought we did, but I'm maybe not sure. Oh, Sterling, could you um, watch it off one of your t-shirts? <laughs> hey, Christy. Oh, sorry. Wrong one here. Sterling, could you auction off one of your t-shirts? You know, that might be fun to do an auction. You know, um, I, I would think it would be fun to do a drink with Reese and Sterling. Uh, I know you don't drink. Uh, have you ever had enough to drink to feel tipsy? Never. I've never been drunk before. So yeah, that would be fun. I thought it would be fun to do gummies. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've never done that. I would like to try that. Wait do a second. Do you think What's we this? should do that? Rabbit showed the SPTV Foundation. Okay. Didn't know that. We're behind the news. Did you know How that? How can that be? He, no, I thought he, I talked to Aaron yesterday. He hasn't announced it. I, I, I think someone mentioned that it was going to be called the SPTV, Found, SPTV Foundation, but I don't think so. Oh, then I never saw. Oh, yes, I did see that. Yes, and now I know what you're talking about. Yep, yeah, I did see that. But I need to watch it again. It was a long time ago long time ago. Uh, Carrie Ann, I took a little bit, but it didn't do anything for me. Interesting. <laughs> it didn't, huh? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Um, gummies don't sometimes have an effect on me and I don't know why that is. Sterling, should we try that sometime? Should I have a drink with you? Uh, well, I did well, that with Aaron once. I'll do that. I'll do that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that for sure. You would do it? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> He just changed his mind. Possibly. Um, oh, he did announce it. Really? But I thought he announced, he announced the name. Just the name. Yeah, did he announce the people? Okay, so he must have because Liz Gale's on there. He spoke of it on his Q&A. Huh. He didn't tell me he was going to do that. Strange. Strange, strange. All right. Um, yeah, good time. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for everyone that's tuning in. Uh, hopefully we can do something in next week. Um, love you all. Love you, Reese. Um, love you. And let's, uh, okay, yeah, we'll let's reach out when you want to do something again. Guys, I'll be back on the lifeboat in one hour if you want to come over. But, um, oh, Kara McAllister. Damn you, Kara. Thank you, though. You can say it if you spend $20. I, I have a button on that word. I don't like it. All right. Did you know that? No, you didn't know that. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, now you do. So please don't say it. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys. Love you all. Talk to you later. I'm just going to end. <laughs>